Hi, in this project we're going to use the radial reamp box to send signals from Pro Tools through the patch bay into the guitar amps in the studio so that we can re-record guitar tracks or any other type of audio and generate real-time effects either different microphone placement, different amp settings um, in order to enhance the quality of the sounds that we've recorded or to do something entirely different from the way we recorded it in the first place. So the first thing we want to do is set up the patching so that we can send our signal from Pro Tools out into the out into the studio and put it into a guitar amp where we can put a microphone in front of it and record it like it was a live event. So you're going to need two patch cables from the back of the wall these are special patch cables, not the regular ones. They have the TT on one side and the regular quarter inch on the other. So, so make sure you don't just grab the ones that look like look like this, that have the TTs on both sides. What we want to do is we want to come out of the patch bay and go into the inputs and outputs of the reamp box. The reamp box is labeled signal in and out over here with two quarters. Let's see if you can get it. There you go. The input is the top, the output is the bottom. So we're going to use a send off of the Pro Tools session assigned instead of to a bus to an actual interface channel. We might as well just use analog Avid Output 3. So I'm going to come out of Avid Output 3 and go in through the quarter inch side to the top quarter inch jack the one labeled input on the reamper then I'm going to come out with another quarter inch to TT coming out of the output side of the reamper let's see if you can see it there the output side of the reamper is the bottom quarter inch that's going to go into a patch point on the right side of the window out in the studio it's this place right here right wall DI there's two of them you can use the right wall DI number one or number two we're going to just use number one so then we can just put our reamper right here it's nice because now we have the reamper right here in the control room and we can use the output level knob on the reamper to control the signal going into the amp from the studio without having to run around and uh, change it inside the studio. Okay I'll show you how it's patched in out in the studio next. So this is the right hand patch panel, the one that we've been using to patch into the Vintech and the True and the APIs for our recording projects so far in this class but now we're going to use a different part of this panel. We're going to use the DI for direct insertion uh, points. So this is where I had the 57 plugged in to, to record the original guitar track that I'm using for the demo in this project. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to unplug it. So what I need is a quarter inch guitar cable basically to plug into DI1. That's where I patched my reamper in over on the other side of the wall and in order to pull these out you have to push the little red tab to lock in. Okay, so I've plugged in my quarter inch guitar cable into DI1 here in the right hand patch bay. This cable then is just going to go over and plug into the guitar amp just like a guitar, except that it's coming through the wall from the reamper which is playing back a track that I already recorded of guitar. And I'll show you how to set up the Pro Tools session next. Hi, so this is the session that I've made to show you a little bit about using the reamper to um, reamp some guitar tracks. I made two recordings um, in two different styles. I'm just going to show you the one in the video, but I have some other things I can show you in class. So I made these recordings in the conventional way, put an SM57 up in front of the guitar amp, ran it into the Vintech, and recorded it down onto these tracks. But now that we have these recordings, we need to route them out to the reamper, from the patch bay to the reamper, and from there through the wall into the guitar amp, and then put up a, and then use the mics that I've put up to um, to actually record this new track. 
So what we're going to use is a send. We're going to come out of this first guitar track using a send. But instead of using a bus like we have been when we go out to say an aux track for a reverb, we're going to really use a, and we're going to use a real output because we need to get into the patch bay at that patch point where we plugged in the reamper. So we select output for the send, go to uh, output 3, which is the ADAT 1 under 3 and 4. So now I've connected the send of the first track to, um, the, uh, to the AVID output 3, which we connected our cable from there into the reamper. So now when I play this, it's going to be going through the reamper into the guitar amp. I don't know if you can hear it out there, but I can reach over onto the reamper and control the signal level that's going into the guitar with the level knob on the reamper. So we're getting there. The next thing I need to do is set up some tracks for those SM81s so I can record the room back into this mix. So I'm going to do a Command Shift N for new. I'm going to do a stereo audio track hit create. I'm going to label this my room. I've got these SM81s plugged into the API so we need to go into 5 and 6. I'm going to record and enable this track but we also have to do something else. Um, we also need to click, to click on the green input button. The reason is because um, it's kind of weird, but we need to be able to hear the input of this track even when we are not actually using the record button because we don't have a live player to just sort of sit there and play for us without the, the track rolling. We have to have this track over here rolling in order to drive the amp. There's nobody out there playing. And if this were not on, we would not hear the input to this track until we actually rolled, hit the record button and had the thing actually play, which we don't want to do because we don't want to record while we're setting levels. We just want to set levels. So it's kind of weird, but you got to do it. It's because we don't have somebody to sit there and play for us while the track is not rolling. So now as I hit play, signal coming into the SM81s, and actually it's pretty hot, so I'm going to go over to the API and turn it down. So now we've got a level. We could actually go into record. We could turn this off then. Flip back over to the edit screen. Get the loop. Make the loop go away. Command Shift L. So we don't have the loop on anymore. And then we could actually record the whole track down in real time, recording the room mics. We wouldn't need to have the input on anymore. So you can see I had another track recorded before while I was testing it. So now that track is, um, is burned into the project with the sound of the room coming through those two stereo uh, SM80, uh, the stereo pair of SM81s. So I think you can imagine all kinds of interesting things that you could do um, to send not only guitar tracks but vocals or other instruments out into a guitar amp put it somewhere else in a different part of the building put it out here in the hallway put the mics in the hallway put the amp in the studio put the mic on top of a drum and put the guitar amp in front of the drum uh, you can just do all kinds of creative and crazy things and get all kinds of interesting sounds that you can then use um, as part of your mix. So the reamper is very cool. 
it's great to have. I hope you enjoy having it. There's all kinds of great things and lots of fun. So enjoy it. Thanks. See you. Bye.